Hello, Katie. Speaking. <laughs> Laughing at myself, my views, my experiences changed drastically ever since I've experienced myself here on Earth. And uh, I've got much to share. Much has changed. I've just got a boiling laughter inside me because the most ironic thing is is that the experiences I've written about what is going on on earth was no different in heaven. I thought the way out would be me or each being experiencing heaven <clears throat> when the truth is that the answers on earth and heaven is in the same situation as what we are. <laughs> I had to. When I got to the dimensions, I laughed. I laughed at the ironic situation. I laughed at myself, yet the situation was so dire. Crossing over to the dimensions, finding the same enslavement, finding the same suffering, finding the same interlockness into the boundaries and limitations of self, self's own mind, self's own situation, self's own experience. And now I'm here through this interdimensional portal, thank God <laughs> for this, because it's a real gift to be able to communicate through to human beings on a level that is equal. That is the realization that heaven, as I am here, I'm able to communicate with you equally. And uh, heaven has changed, I have changed many of my works, specific my words, specific of the situation on earth, but what I found is that I've done and that all are guilty of, if I may place it into that perspective, is we talk a lot. <laughs> I may have given some views, some insights of my own anger and disgust at this world. I wish to die, I did, yet that wish is definitely the statement and experience of be careful what you wish for, because <laughs> I found no different experience in heaven as I experienced myself on earth. Yet I've changed from the realization and perspective that I'm able to do something. I'm not able to only write about the anger, the resentment, the disgust and the sorrow of this world and in the dimensions I discovered because it's me, because I'm equally responsible for what I experience in heaven or in the dimensions if you want to refer to it as that or earth, it is all the same. Um, I discovered that in my writings I separated heaven from earth, I separated myself. That's why the anger and resentment and disgust of this world can only exist in separation. The anger can grow, the frustration can grow, the sadness can grow. If you allow yourself to separate you from yourself in terms of realizing that you are as responsible for this world, for the situation of heaven as each and every single human being on earth is, I'm quite excessively opened up in terms of the situation of this world. It is really vast. You stand in the depths of a pit within yourself which you see and you realize as you watch this world. If you watch heaven, if you watch yourself, it's the most saddest thing ever. I noticed that I was the most, I was actually angry at myself when I wrote <laughs> my insights of this world. Yes, you may attack this world, <clears throat> we may say it's an unpleasant, unacceptable experience, what many beings say, but I don't think that what's understood is the actual standing up and the taking responsibility for what this world has done, what we've done to this world, what we've done to ourselves. That's the depth of understanding and insight that is required that I tried to bring through while I was here on earth. I tried to make human beings become aware of the situation. I did not know why. I mean, what can I do? What, what change am I able to make? The only change that I understood I'm able to make is to brings through an awareness, brings through my anger, brings through my expression of this world which I don't accept, which no one should accept. It is not who we are. I didn't know who I was, of course. I just knew what I had to write. But writing doesn't seem to be enough. Speaking doesn't seem to be enough. 
becoming aware of something isn't enough. Having insight about something isn't enough. Have a look. I mean, what does my writing stand for now but insight? Great. <laughs> I may be a stepping stone, as many beings may be a stepping stone. And the point that is required to be taken, which is the process we're busy with in heaven, which human beings should participate in as well, is the realization that you have to take action. You have to stand up. You have to move yourself. You have to make a difference not only in yourself, but in your world and the human beings that's moving around you. We're not going to change this by attacking what we've created, by attacking what we're responsible for, by attacking what we deem not acceptable, judgmental, denial, justification, those principles of being used infinitely. Where has it got us? It's got us nowhere. It's got us in the same cycles, climbing even more, and we're giving our power away to those standing in power at the moment of the world. Human beings have got to hear. We're here to talk to you, to communicate with you through this interdimensional portal, giving us the ability to speak to you as equals, reaching out there, saying, fuck, we have to stand up, excuse the word, and um, we can't make a difference anywhere else. We need to stop talking, actually. <laughs> we need to start speaking as who we are. I didn't speak as I am then. I didn't write as who I am. I wrote about what I felt, what I experienced. But what are you doing with that, is my question. I would take my writings as a suggestion from the suggestion from perspective of having it motivate you to stand up. I've used it for me in the dimensions to stand up. Seeing a child being raped um, in this world is enough to have you realize <coughs> When you see it firsthand, because that's what you realize in the dimensions, you see everything firsthand, and it's I can't exist like this anymore. I'm certain every being in this world is tired. I'm I was tired when I got to the dimension after I died. I was depleted. Only when I realized that even depletion and tiredness, in the sense of thinking that giving up exists, is only a line of consciousness. Where Having consciousness rules the world, and I'm talking to you now, why? I'm talking to you straight, direct, from the perspective of I'm not able to give you any answers. I'm not able to give you the exact way of what it means to stand up. I mean, that exists inside each and every single one. I, don't, I can't tell you how to. I can't tell you exactly where to go. I can't tell you who to be. What I'm saying is, as I'm speaking these words, Stand within it as yourself. We're required to live words. We're required to take action. I'm not saying take action by forming another organization or movement. That is just yet another way of trying to communicate to the world and say, Hey, there's something wrong. What are you going to do about it? It's not going to work like that. I'm not going to use that approach. I'm not using that approach. I'm using that approach from sharing my experience, even on earth and in the dimensions. I may give some insight, as I did here on Earth, which is a stepping stone. Use it as a stepping stone to support you about what choice you're going to make that will stand into infinity, to which you're able to make that choice and support yourself and stand up and take responsibility for yourself. <laughs> you're all you have, trust me. I'm alone, as we're all alone. Yet we're here to support each other, but support will change from the perspective of you'll start getting everything in your face. As this world is starting to become a quite in your face scenario, it's getting to the point where human beings can't deny the existence of anything anymore. It's here. I suggest you start taking on, taking, expanding your world, expanding your world, looking at what's going on in this world. What are we allowing? What does standing up really mean? What does supporting yourself really mean? What does it mean to make a difference to yourself and to this world we exist in? I'm not going to take the approach of honoring your world and honoring yourself and, you know, shit like that, though, excuse the word, though it is specific. But in essence, it's about you. It's about me. 
it's about everyone. And I'm just and you're getting these messages from any other beings across the world, it's the same thing. Um, but hear my, my words in terms of what I'm saying is you have to stand up, you have to take responsibility, take my insights, what I've written, use it as motivation. You have to become self-motivated. I can't do that for you. Neither can heaven do that for you. He, heaven can't do anything for humanity but take the horse to the water. You have to actually drink it. Thanks, this is Philip K. Dick, and uh, start waking up.